Good afternoon everyone. This is Teacher SP and welcome to my channel. So kung bago lang po kayo sa channel ko, mag-subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated for whatever videos I'm going to upload. So sa hapon na ito, ako po ay magtuturo on how to derive our formulas of a square and a rectangle. Alam po natin guys na kailangan po natin ito, how are you going to derive the formula? So, handa na ba kayo guys? So, kung handa na kayo, handa rin ako. So, please keep watching until the end of this video. Okay, so how are you going to derive a formula of a square and a rectangle? So, first, I have to explain the rectangle. If I'm going to draw the figure of a rectangle, and if we are going to identify it, so ito po yung width, at ito po yung length. Okay, so, if we are going to get the perimeter, okay, so, what are the formulas? So, perimeter muna. So, ang perimeter, pag sinabi natin perimeter, ito po yung sum of all sides. Okay, pag sinabi natin sum of all sides, guy, ina-add natin, di po ba? So, alam natin na there are two length, okay, so, the two length, Plus, ito pa rin, width and width. So, length, dalawang length, guys. So, 2L plus dalawang width, that is 2 width. So, this is now the formula of the perimeter of a rectangle based on the figure. So, kahit if even though you will not memorize it, hindi mo i-memorize, guys, but if you have your figure, madali lang Paano ka mag-derive ng formula? Okay? So, let us get now the area. Pag sinabi natin area, so we have here, these two are what we call the length. So, length times the width. So, this is now the formula. Okay? And then, if, you, if I'm going to draw a line here, ano ang tawag dito? So, ibig sabihin, ang tawag dito ay diagonal. So, if we are going to derive the formula of a diagonal of a rectangle, so that will be dalawang diagonal dito sa kabila, this part isang diagonal, this part isang diagonal. So, d times d, that is equal to d squared. And then, we have two length Length times length. ba guys? Kapag nag-multiply tayo ng variable, we are adding the exponent. So, ibig sabihin, ang length na ito, ang exponent niya, ba 1. So, 1 plus 1, ba 2. So, that's why, d times d, ito yung isang d, dito sa baba, isang d. So, d times d is equal to d squared. And then, dalawang L, so that will be L squared plus dalawang width, so the width times width, that is equal to width squared. So if we are going to simplify this, guys, my square dito. So therefore, the simpl uh, simplified formula of D squared is equal to D. So ang squared na ito magiging square root. So, that is equal to the square root of L squared plus W squared. Okay, so this is now the formula. If you are looking for the diagonal of a rectangle, area of a rectangle, perimeter of a rectangle. Okay, so did you get it, guys? Now, if I'm going to draw a square, so we will be deriving a formula of a square. So, for letter B, we have a square. So, mag-drawing po ako ng square, and if we are going to identify itong side dito, side, 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 side. So, ilang side ang square? We know that square, pare-pareho yan sila measurement, di po ba? Pare-pareho, hindi kumpe dito sa length and the width sa rectangle, mas bahaba 
ang value ng length kaysa sa width. But in a square, pare-pareho ang value ng side. Okay, so if we are going to derive the formula of the perimeter, perimeter of a square, so P stands for the perimeter. So ilang sides ang square? Di ba? Apat. So therefore, 4S. Okay? And then, if we are going to derive the formula of the area of a square, okay? So, di ba ito? S times S. Is, isang S lang to. The, dito side, ditong side. So, ilan yon, Di ba? Dalawa. So, S times S is equal to S squared. Okay? Kuha ba, guys? But, kapag nilagyan ko po ito ng line, we call this as a diagonal, right? Ditong part, this part is what we call diagonal. Dito sa baba, diagonal din po. So, let us now derive the formula of a diagonal. So, D times D is equal to D squared, right? So, kapag nag-multiply ka ng S times S is equal to S squared. Plus, ditong side, S times S is equal to S squared. Have you noticed, guys, na pareho sila variable, right? So, the rule says that kapag pareho silang variable, we are going to add the numerical coefficient. So, ibig sabihin, ang S squared and S squared, ibig sabihin, ang numerical coefficient niya ay 1. So, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So, therefore, D squared is equal to 2S squared. Since my D squared na ito, i-derive, i-ano pa rin natin, simplify natin. So, therefore, D is equal to the square root of 2S squared. So, ito na yung formula ng ating diagonal ng square. Did you get it, guys? So, we have already the perimeter. We have already the area. We have already the diagonal. So, ngayon, like for example, given mo ay diagonal. And we are looking for the side. And how are we going to derive it? So, using this formula, this one, d squared. So, let us now derive the value or the formula of the side. So, using this general formula na d squared is equal to 2s squared. Hahanapin natin ang s squared. Let us derive the formula based on this para Kung walang side, nawawala ang side ng square, if we are going to solve the problem already, we will be using the uh, formula, the different formulas of a rectangle and a square in our problem solving. Paano mo yun gagawin? So, even though you, you don't need to memorize, basta importante guys, alam nyo ang concept on how to derive the formula. You don't need to memorize it. Did you get it guys? So, now, so, d squared is equal to 2s squared. Hinahanap natin dito ang s squared. So, paano gagawin yon? So, what are we going to do? Since hinahanap natin ang s squared, divide both equation by 2 and 2. Bakit po 2? Hindi po d squared. Kasi guys, kailangan maiiwan dito sa right side ang s squared. Kaya, ginawa natin na divide tayo ng 2 and 2 para ma-cancel natin. Okay? So, cancel mo ang 2 and 2. So, natira mo ay S squared. So, therefore, okay, pupunta na tayo sa formula. ba? So, ang natitira dito ay S squared na. So, magiging S squared is equal to D squared divided by 2. So, ngayon, may S squared dito, magiging S is equal to the square root of D squared divided by 2. 
Okay? Ito na po yung formula natin. How many formulas that we have derived? Ilan? Dito sa rectangle, we have how many formulas? Formula 1, formula 2, and then formula 3. Dito sa square, we have formula 1, the perimeter. We have formula 2 for the area, the formula 3 for the diagonal, and formula 4 for the side. So, this is now the process on how to derive the formula. Diba guys? So, mga estudyante dyan, kung nakikinig sa akin. Okay, ngayon, malapit na po ang pasukan. So, kahit hindi nyo po i-memorize ang mga formulas, even though na hindi nyo alam, Pero, if you know the concept of mathematics, if you know the concept on how to derive the formula, alam nyo po. Alam natin na you know the figure of a square, you know the figure of a rectangle, and see to it na alam nyo po kung paano mag-identify na mga parts nito. Okay guys, so I hope na may matutunan po kayo ngayon sa akin. So next, teaching guys, Okay, magre-record po ako on how to solve problem solving using these formulas. Thank you so much guys for watching and have a great day everyone.